Pulseless electrical activity P, refers to cardiac arrest in which the electrocardiogram shows a heart rhythm that should produce a pulse, but does not. Pulseless electrical activity is found initially in about 55% of people in cardiac arrest. Under normal circumstances, electrical activation of muscle cells precedes mechanical contraction of the heart, known as electromechanical coupling. In P, there is electrical activity, but the heart either does not contract or there are other reasons this results in an insufficient cardiac output to generate a pulse and supply blood to the organs. While P is classified as a form of cardiac arrest, significant cardiac output may still be present which may be determined and best visualized by bedside ultrasound. Cardiopulmonary resuscitation CPR is the first treatment for P, while potential underlying causes are identified and treated. The medication epinephrine may be administered. Survival is about 20%. Topic. Signs and symptoms Pulseless electrical activity leads to a loss of cardiac output, and the blood supply to the brain is interrupted. As a result, P is usually noticed when a person loses consciousness and stops breathing spontaneously. This is confirmed by examining the airway for obstruction, observing the chest for respiratory movement, and feeling the pulse usually at the carotid artery for a period of 10 seconds. Causes <coughs> 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 These possible causes are remembered as the 6 H's and the 6 tera seconds. C H's and T's Hypovolemia Hypoxia Hydrogen ions acidosis, Hyperkalemia or hypokalemia Hypoglycemia Hypothermia Tablets or toxins drug overdose, Cardiac tamponade Tension pneumothorax Thrombosis e.g., myocardial infarction, pulmonary embolism Tachycardia Trauma e.g., hypovolemia from blood loss the possible mechanisms by which the above conditions can cause pulseless in P are the same as those recognized as producing circulatory shock states these are 1 impairment of cardiac filling, 2 impaired pumping effectiveness of the heart, 3 circulatory obstruction and 4 pathological vasodilation causing loss of vascular resistance and excess capacitance. More than one mechanism may be involved in any given case. Topic: <inaudible> Diagnosis <inaudible> 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 The absence of a pulse confirms a clinical diagnosis of cardiac arrest, but P can only be distinguished from other causes of cardiac arrest with a device capable of electrocardiography In P, there is organized or semi-organized electrical activity in the heart as opposed to asystole or to the disorganized electrical activity of either ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Treatment Cardiac Resuscitation Guidelines ACLS, BCLS, advise that cardiopulmonary resuscitation should be initiated promptly to maintain cardiac output until the P can be corrected. The approach in treatment of P is to treat the underlying cause, if known e.g. relieving a tension pneumothorax. Where an underlying cause for P cannot be determined and or reversed, the treatment of pulseless electrical activity is similar to that for asystole. There is no evidence that external cardiac compression can increase cardiac output in any of the many scenarios of P, such as hemorrhage, in which impairment of cardiac filling is the underlying mechanism producing loss of a detectable pulse. A priority in resuscitation is placement of an intravenous or intraosseous line for administration of medications. The mainstay of drug therapy for P is epinephrine, adrenaline, 1 mg every 3 to 5 minutes. 
Although previously the use of atropine was recommended in the treatment of P. asystole, this recommendation was withdrawn in 2010 by the American Heart Association due to lack of evidence for therapeutic benefit. Epinephrine II has a limited evidence base, and it is recommended on the basis of its mechanism of action. Sodium bicarbonate 1 MeQ per kilogram may be considered in this rhythm as well, although there is little evidence to support this practice. Its routine use is not recommended for patients in this context, except in special situations e.g. pre-existing metabolic acidosis, hyperkalemia, tricyclic antidepressant overdose, all of these drugs should be administered along with appropriate CPR techniques. Defibrillators cannot be used to correct this rhythm, as the problem lies in the response of the myocardial tissue to electrical impulses. <laughs> 